Good evening, guys. It's Madman Mandela coming at you live in the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Yes. Are we ready for Thanksgiving? Are we ready to have our hand down our pants, feeling our genitals, okay, as we uh, eat all that turkey and then wind up on the couch, snoring, farting, and feeling ourselves? <laughs> uh, I don't know about you, but yeah, I, I see it coming. Anyway, <laughs> look. Casey Colley, all right, Casey came to me, and uh, he said he wanted a custom RGH. He said he wanted something uh, with a Joker theme, okay, like Heath, and I was like, all right, I was like, look, Casey, I'm not going to do something exactly like Heath's, okay, because that would, it would be identifiable with Heath. I'm like going, you're Casey, you're not Heath, okay, so therefore we will do one. But we'll do it a little differently, all right? And what I came up with was this right here. All right, what we have is we have a Joker theme on here, okay, as you can see, all etched out. And then we have the Why So Serious, okay? Now, we put that in. You have programmable addressable LEDs, okay, with this remote right here that gives you over 300 options that should make you dizzy and want to throw up. All right, and uh, it started off as a base model slim, got an Ace V3 in it, 320 gig drive, up on the line servers, along with lifetime perch. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this light off for effect. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to boot this thing up. Okay, now as you can see, why is so serious? Yes, ha 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 ha. And then we did your ROL, by the way, so it's all different colors and everything, all right? And, of course, we have this right here. And it goes red, green, blue, and white, okay? And then we have all different modes for it, where, as you can see, it does its little thing there. And you can speed it up if you want. You can really speed it up, and it can really go crazy if you want. And we have another mode for it where, yeah, it goes, it, yeah, it's, it, it gets crazy, okay? And there's all different kinds that that should really like like one after you eat the turkey, don't turn this on because you'll wind up throwing up. Alright? There's all different types of modes and all different types of colors and everything else, okay? So, you know, there you go, brother. Alright? I hope that you like that. Alright, now I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna shift this to a yeah, melodic blue because I don't need to throw up right now. Alright? So I hope that you like the work. All right, as you can see, there's your Joker, all right, and uh, there's your Why So Serious. The camera doesn't do it justice. You really have to see it in person, okay? So anyway, she's all booted up and ready to go, all right, up on the line servers. And I'm going to go ahead, and what we're going to do is I'm going to roll through this thing with you, okay, just to show you what you got, all right? So let me stick up a controller right here, all right? And uh, we shall begin at the beginning and end at the end. Okay. Under emulators, all right, Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and MAME, a complement of ROMs on there that should keep you busy for a long time, and then some, over 4,000 of them to be exact. Okay, Xbox Classic Games, you have Brothers in Arms, and you have the original Halo, and then, of course, you have the homebrew section where all the tools reside that you can really screw this thing up with, okay? You have Dash Launch, XM360, XEX Menu, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple Name Flasher, FX Menu, Flash 360, and back to Dash Launch. Then, of course, the Xbox Live Arcade and mirrored mind-boggling amount of arcade games, including Trailer Park King, Goat Simulator, okay, and uh, I do believe Baby Maker Extreme and Baby Maker Extreme 2, all for your pleasure. And then, of course, we have our Xbox 360 games, all right? Now, we're going to roll through this, and here we go. We have Advanced Warfare, Warface, Tomb Raider, Super Street Fighter 4, Splinter Cell, Sega Superstars, Tennis, Saints Row the Third, Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Hitman, Halo, CE, Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, Fear 2, Defiance, Call of Duty, World of War, Black Ops 3, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, Bold Storm, Epic Edition, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, Borderlands 2, Battlefield, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, and back to Advanced Warfare. Now, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. Then what you can do, you're gonna you're gonna click on Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash it one more time, and you will be magically transported to the original dash. All right, and there you are, Logan Casey Colley. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. You're on dashboard 17559. You currently have 30 reserved days left. Got it? Good. Okay. We will bypass the sign in. 
And as you can see, you're up, you're online, you are live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. And over in our fifth tab are Ghost Sheets and Modern Warfare 3 Sheets, okay? And then to get back to uh, FSD Dash, smash the A button at Xbox Home. Alright. Now, Casey, the serious part here where it comes down to you hooking this up onto the network for the first time, okay? Look, brother, this is what you got to do, all right? Oh, yeah, and if you want to see your oil, there you go, okay? I did it all different colors just to make you want to throw up, okay? <laughs> okay, now look, when you get this crazy thing, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead, I want you to pull the hard drive case, all right? Then I want you to pull the hard drive out, all right? Now, it's a 320, it says 250, it's a 320, believe me. I buy all new cases for these things because I'm not putting, sliding a hard drive in there with tissue paper around it like other builders do, which I've seen, and I'm like going like, dude, case is two bucks. Come on, man. Buy the damn case for the hard drive, will you? All right? So anyway, you pull a hard drive on it, okay? Then what I want you to do, I want you to boot it up. You're going to come to the Xbox Blackboard screen. When you come to the Blackboard screen, you decide to the right. Go to System, go to Settings, go to Network Settings. Under Network Settings, you're going to see your Wi-Fi, uh, your Wi-Fi access point pop up. Grab hold of the sucker, all right, and what you're going to do, you put your password in. When you do, it's going to initialize a test. It's going to check mark off LAN. It's going to fail on Internet. It's going to fail on Xbox Live. When it completely fails, okay, I want your power system off. Then I want you to take said hard drive, and I want you to slide it back in. See, it's with a click, and then what I want you to do, I want you to put the drive door back on, all right? Then what I want you to do, I want you to pull a power cord on this thing, all right? And there's a method to my madness. The reason why is because there's something in there called the SMC, which happens to stand for, stand for Systems Management Controller. Now, unfortunately, this little sap sucker sits there and draws 5 volts all the time off the power supply. So, therefore, it will mess up the DNS and, I, I, I mean, all the TCP functions get all screwed up. And it's sitting there trying to handshake on TLS. It doesn't work and it turns into a nightmare. So what we want to do is we want to drain the power from it because we want it to be clean. We don't want to have all those old DNSs and all that crap. That's the reason why we pull the power supply. We let it sit for three to five minutes because there's capacitors in there that stay charged, okay? And they stay charged for a little period of time. Three minutes minimum, five minutes maximum, okay? All right, so leave it unplugged for about three to five minutes. And then once that three to five minutes is up, I want you to take the power supply. I want you to plug it back in. I want you to power it back on, and guess what? You will be good to go. Casey, thank you for your business. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, all right? And I greatly appreciate the business. We will be shipping it off, well, tomorrow is tea day, so we'll be shipping it off on Friday, okay? Which means you should have it by Monday, all right? So anyway, listen, thank you so much. You all have a good one, guys. Holler at you later. I'll be on to my next one, and I'm going to have a weekend blast of RGHs. Because I got a boatload to do now. Oh, my God. Anyway, you all have a good one, guys. Holler at you later.